Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Ag Ventures by Herdwatch. I'm your guest host, Megan Fegler, and we're in Wiggins, Colorado today at the Gable Farms operation. Rachel, tell us about yourself and how you got to be where you're at. Well, gosh, well, we're here right in front of the pears on our multi-generational family farm, and we are headquartered here in Wiggins, which is in northeastern Colorado and we run cows with my husband's parents and uh, Eric is my husband. He and I have a commercial herd as well as a purebred Hereford herd and then we also raise some show goats. We raise some uh, show cattle and we have online sales throughout the year so we just wrapped up two production sales. One was our show goats and the other one was a fallborn cattle sale so most of those calves went south those slick slick shows. We do quite a little bit of ET work and that's predominantly for club calves. We raise show steers and we market them through various online sales and private treaty as well. Um, our protocol is basically with the spring calving cows we will AI probably a hundred of our best cows then the next hundred we'll probably put embryos in from uh, the elite donors, we have about 10 donors that we're currently flushing all the time, um, just to the most popular bulls in the club cap industry. Um, it's not at all like the commercial side of things. Uh, we do run some commercial cows that, um, basically our commercial operation would be the same cows. We just use more uh, like purebred bulls, either Herefords or Simmentals, back on the crossbred cows for commercial calves and our replacements as well. We like our replacements to be not much club calf in at all. I'm a farm broadcaster on Western Ag Network and I cover primarily uh, Colorado, Wyoming, and Nebraska. And we we dabble into Kansas and also into, Nebraska, into uh, New Mexico with that work. So I'm on air with Western Ag Network and they're based out of Billings, but we're on over a hundred stations throughout our, our coverage area. So it's pretty amazing. Uh, we get to cover just a, a huge swath of the West and all sorts of different uh, big news stories. The, the news story that I tend to cover for the Fence Post and Western Ag is uh, just, you know, there's a huge changing political climate here in Colorado. It's a very much a shifting population. We just reintroduced wolves. There's lots of legislation that is anti-ag, anti-rural America. You know, the Democrats have a super majority in the state. So there's always lots of headlines there. And, and then I also have a column that's more consumer facing and that's in Denver Gazette, Colorado Springs Gazette and Colorado Politics. And that talks a little bit more about the legislation mm -hmm. side of things. Um, I also work with Ag in the Classroom and I've written several books and those are the ones that folks take into the classroom to help kids learn about agriculture and and uh i told you right before we came on air that i'm about i'm just waiting for one to come back from the designer right now so rachel um your valued herd watch user what records do you keep and why is record keeping so important to you? Sure. Like Eric said, we have a spring calving herd and a fall calving herd and a goat herd. So um, he knows all the dams, all the sires, what they go back to, what they had last year, and he can rattle all of that off, but I can't. So it's a lot easier when I go to do um, any of our sale listings or anything like that, if I can go ahead and see what we've got going on. And then we know, like in the summertime, when we go to Lusk um, to grass, we also have some cows that stay down here and some of our fall herd doesn't go. So just knowing where everything is, knowing which bulls they're with, which ones are AI'd, which ones are ET'd, and just being able to have all of that in your pocket is pretty amazing. Being able to see the big picture is really important for us and being able to pull up one cow and being able to see her whole history the whole time she's been in the herd. I think that's, and, and to be able to see, you know, if we use X number of AI sires or ETs or, you know, whatever, then we can see exactly what we ended up with once they're on the ground. So we know our percentages and what's gone to clean up bulls and it's just a, a, a nice overview. 
So my biggest fear is washing a red book mm -hmm. and taking out a blank, little, shriveled, messed up calving book with all of that history in it. The support at Herd Watch is huge. And if you have questions, they're Johnny on the spot getting back to you. And just to have that all there so that I know it's not gonna disappear or get run through the washer.